So this is the extra example three of chapter 11. In, in this example, we're going to calculate the, uh, this is sediment is actually rebounding of the clay layer. If we, um, if we remove that sandy field on top. Okay. okay. So this means we already have this 10 feet of sandy field on top and we're going to calculate the expected rebound of the clay layer if that layer were to remove. Okay. So to calculate the, this uh, rebound, first uh, we need to look at the stress change. Again, we're going to look at the stress at the middle of the clay layer. So that's where we take that soil sample. Okay. So at mid of clay layer, so mid layer. Okay. So the initial effective stress And this initial stress is with that 10 feet of sandy field on top. So remember, we're calculating the change in stress, the, the sediment due to removing the sandy field. Okay, so the initial state is with that sandy field. So this is with 10 feet of sandy field. Okay. So if that's the case, then the initial stress sigma naught prime should include that 10 feet of moist sand, gamma m, plus, so that's 10 feet of that moist sand, plus 10 feet of saturated clay. So 10 feet of gamma saturated minus gamma water. Okay. And if you plug in numbers, so 10 times 100 plus 10 times 95 minus 62.4. So this is the effective stress with that 10 feet of sandy field. So that's the initial state, 1326 PSF. Okay. And if that sandy field were to remove, okay, so if sandy field removed, okay, the change in effective stress is due to the removal, removal of that sandy field. So it's negative 10 times gamma moist, which is 100. Okay, so this is gamma moist. Okay. So this is the negative, uh, the stress change is negative 1000 PSF, meaning we're removing 1000 PSF of load. And then the final sigma F prime, so this is final, is sigma naught prime plus Delta sigma prime. Okay. So that's 1326 plus negative 1000. So that's 326 PSF. Okay. Once we have these stress values, so we have the initial stress before you move, removing the sandy field. You have the final one after the sandy field is removed, then the uh, primary consolidation settlement. So this is the rebound again, you're moving load. So this is when you remove load, clay is going to follow that recompression curve. So that unloading, reloading portion. So you have recompression index at the slope. So first H over one plus E naught okay, times CS of log sigma F prime over sigma naught prime. Okay. Again, since we're unloading, we are, um, the clay is going to follow that recompression. So we're going to use the recompression index C sub S here. Okay. So if you substitute a number, H is the thickness of the entire consolidating layer. So that's 20 over one plus E naught is 1.2. Okay. CS 0.04 times log 10 of 326 over 1000, uh, so it's over 1326, 13, that's a sigma naught prime, okay. And this uh, SC is the negative value, 0.22 feet, okay. So that's the negative number meaning, means it's rebound. So if you remove that 10 feet of sandy field, clay is going to rebound 0.22 feet.